Hey, and welcome back to Visit Foul Coast. There's my tram just disappearing. I've got my 24 hour tram pass and I'm taking you on a little tour of the Fylde Coast today. So we are at this tram stop, which is Harrow Place. And that is right down at Blackpool's South Shore, not far away from the big Mirabal and quite near to the Pleasure Beach as well. So I'm going to take you on a little tour. I'm going to take you on a little tour of this quieter end of Blackpool. And being super fast and super bright, and super clever as I am, I've just realised <laughs> about, about two hours into my morning in Blackpool that it's half term week. <laughs> hey, I'm like lightning. I am, I'm like lightning. So it's... Uh, it's it's quite busy in Blackpool actually <laughs> um, but it's an absolutely lovely day the clouds are just starting to blow away I've had to pop into Primark today and buy <laughs> buy some leggings and a cardigan because it was frozen frozen I was I've uh, I've got my I've got my tram pass my my old day tram pass so I've got complete freedom to wander about the only downside to that is I don't have a cardigan in the car. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. In fact, it's coming out now, look. So we're going to go and take a look around this end of the promenade because it's quite a nice spot down here. If you're not keen on busy, busy, busy on half-term weeks or if you just like somewhere quiet to go and enjoy the scenery and to enjoy enjoy a nice walk she says just as, just as an idiot thunders past if you want somewhere quiet to go and enjoy a nice walk then this is an absolutely perfect spot for you so make sure that you've subscribed make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and make sure that you've signed up for your visit file coast email newsletter you can get it if you go to visit slash newsletter and you'll get an events list and all kinds of interesting things let's go and see what we can see 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 at south shore so it's wednesday the 31st of may as i'm filming this and it's the first time i've seen the mirror ball in action since its renovation and doesn't it look rather smashing we're going to go and take a closer look at it and a look at this lovely little bit of promenade. Goodness me, it's very twinkly now. It's very, very twinkly. And at night, it lights up with a kaleidoscope of beautiful colours. But we all know I'm not a big fan of going out late at night. So I must admit, I haven't actually seen it yet. And look at that sky. It's extremely lovely. What a gorgeous day. In fact, you can just see my reflection look. There is, it's going round. That's a bit discombobulated. I can't see any missing tiles. They look like they've done a really good job of retiling it. Goodness, that must have taken, well, I know it took an arm, it took an arm and a leg. It took an eternity to do. And you can see all the lovely little pixels going round on the floor, look, as it spins. So the mirror ball is the largest piece of artwork on the New South Promenade Artwork Trail. And this is at the very southernmost end of Blackpool Seafront. And if I zoom in, you can just see the big one at the Pleasure Beach and the tower and the pier and everything in the, everything in the distance. And this is a huge, wide, flat promenade and a fabulous, fabulous sea defence. Can you remember, can you remember the old seawall with all its little shelters and the paddling pool? And apparently there was a little stream as well. Apparently there was a little stream. So this is the new plaque for this current sea defence that was opened in 2001. And last time I came down here, there was another plaque there, which has obviously been taken off which was from the opening of the original seawall, which was first built in 1926. I can remember that really well. I can remember going on the 
in the paddling pool and everything to wear those little jelly shoes. And that's the view over the top. So I'm standing on my tippy toes and I'm pointing the camera right over the top so you kind of get an idea of just how much the waves batter this seawall and look how blue it is. The, the wind is blowing from onshore. So you're getting the really blue colour of the water. It's the sand that churns it up that makes it look brown. Goodness, when I come round that corner and I can see the sea properly, you can see how high that wall is. When I can see it properly, just look at the colour. What a beautiful colour. It looks even it looks even more azure blue to me because I've got my <laughs> I've got my brown tinted sunglasses on, so everything just looks as if it's been beautifully filtered. It looks like Instagram on speed. And that's what we like to see. Look, families enjoying enjoying the beach and these nut and bolt shapes that the sea walls made of here are called sea bees if i just if i just tilt round to these here look you can see that the big big concrete shapes and they're obviously precast concrete and you can see the ones right at the bottom that are in the tidal zone are covered in seaweed and they're fabulous rock pools so if you've got little kids like these that are playing down here. That's a fabulous day out on the beach and you can spend long enough just puddling about in the rock pools and looking to see what you can find. This was always known as the posh end of Blackpool. Back in the day when dinosaurs roamed the earth and I was a little child, this was where all the, the posh hotels were. And there are still some nice places to stay down here and new ones coming on stream all the time. So you can see the Hampton by Hilton there, and that's just had a big extension built at the right hand side. The one that you can see with the flags, with the bunting fluttering there, that one at the back of the bus, is number one South Beach. That's a stay Blackpool accommodation provider, and that's, that's beautiful. That's really a nice place to stay. And there's quite a few different hotels around and about in this area just slightly off the promenade on the side roads. This is a new residential block of apartments and very nice they are too. So if you are looking for somewhere to stay, don't forget to have a look at the accommodation section on the Visit File Coast website and that's full of accredited places that are all members of Stay Blackpool Independent Hoteliers Association. So we're going to go across the road and we're going to go and take a look at the Solaris. So this is a, a public building now that's operated by Blackpool Council and it's actually, it's actually got an official name of the Blackpool Centre for Environmental Excellence and it's a joint venture between Blackpool Council and Lancaster University. But it's actually quite an oldish building. It was built in 1938 as Harriside Solarium or Sun Parlours um, and it was a South Promenade version of the Winter Gardens and the reason I'm walking this way <laughs> away from it is because I'm just going to point out the thing that we always need to know where they are, they're the toilets. So the public toilets are just on that corner of the building there. So they're Danfor ones, which are coin slot operated. So I remember ever so well going in here as a kid and the building was renamed the Solaris when it was reopened in 2004 after the, the council had, had, had renovated it and tidied it up. But before that, it used to be a sort of an old ramshackle building with internal greenhouses and grapevines growing and things. So I can remember ever so clearly this side of the building here was the cafe and we used to walk, we used to walk down here and come and come and have a drink in an afternoon. So as the, the sign clearly proclaims there is a nice cafe in here so you can come and have a, you can come and have a, a brew and a bite to eat when you've been, when you've been out on your walk and you're tired and you've been to the low and partaken of all the public services. They're pretty flowers, aren't they? They're looked after by the Friends of Solaris Gardens. They're lovely, the Samaria look. Don't they just brighten it up and make it look pretty? 
They're really nice. So I'm going to take you inside and show you this lovely building. And it's a really nice conversion. Look at the, the roof. There must be still the tiles. How clever. It's really lovely airy space. Solar room. And there's some old photographs on display as well. Wow, look at these. This is the old, the original Gin. Central Railway Station. Aerial view of Blackpool. So this is the original wheel at the Winter Gardens. That'll be St John's, I think. Look at all the churches. Goodness me, there is a lot. Data Royal at Talbot Square. Town Hall. That doesn't look a lot different now to what it did back then. Clifton Street. Burley Street. Market Street. Amazing. Fascinating. So this is a lovely open public space. We've got the police in today doing a, doing a bit of a meet and greet. Meet and greet type thing. So this step through here is the cafe. So it's a lovely, lovely, spacious, airy cafe. And the rest of the building is full of meeting rooms and offices and the kind of stuff that you get down down the, those two corridors. So this is the cafe. Ice creams, coffee, snacks, meals, etc. It's a very nice cafe actually. We've partaken of that on more than one occasion. And then around the back there's a lovely little kids playground. And some quite big space for people, for little people to run around. Well, big people as far as that goes. And over at this side is the garden that's looked after by the Friends of Solaris Park. And there used to be a pond here, and it was a raised one um, set into railway sleepers, which I always admired every time I, every time I came round. Um, but uh, sadly, they had to dismantle it because it had, it had outlived its useful, useful life. So this is the lovely little garden that's looked after by the, by the friends. And as I said, they look after the planting that's at the front as well. Oh, lovely. That's really nice. Well done. Everybody needs friends, don't they? Every garden needs some friends. So as you saw from my arrival, in this lovely little spot. It's bang on the tramway. So you could perhaps catch a tram. So this is the final destination. Have a little look and a, and a coffee and a brew and pop in the cafe and then tram back. Or you could walk as far as your legs might take you. <laughs> Which might not be very far at all. And then, and then recover while you sat on the tram on the way home. Um, but at least there's a cafe and there's toilets at the, at the other end of the promenade, which is, which is the good thing. So there's a few parking spaces. Most of these are re reserved for the units in the Solaris Centre, but there are some parking spaces on nearby streets as well, as you can see at the back of me. Parking on the promenade is paid for. Um, but if that's all you spend on a day out, 40 pence for a toilet and, and a little bit of money for parking, you've not done bad, have you? So you could have quite a nice, quite a nice day out actually at this end of the prom. So that's your little whistle stop tour of the south end of the promenade around the Solaris Centre and the middle, middle ball. <laughs> Goodness, I'm having trouble with my teeth, aren't I today? The mirror ball. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you've enjoyed that little look round and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to make sure that you've given it a like don't forget to sign up for your visit file course email newsletter and we'll see you next time bye for now